But how did a country like Japan, which is considered the smartest in the world, end up in a situation like this? Well, first, let me give you a quick idea of the current situation in Japan and guide you through all the developments that led to Japan's population freefall. To understand how Japan ended up in a situation like this, we'll have to travel back in time. During 1947 and 1949, Japan experienced a boom in birth rates. But shortly after World War II to the late 1950s, Japan saw a steep drop in fertility. After that, in just one decade, the birth rate went down further by more than one half. As per figures, the total fertility rate in 1947 was at 4.5 births per woman, whereas it dropped down to 2.0 in 1957, almost by more than half. The mid-1970s were no good either, and childbearing started dropping further. And since 2000, Japan's total fertility rate has fluctuated between 1.3 and 1.4 births per woman, which currently stands at 1.367 births per woman. The situation grew bad and caught worldwide attention when last year less than 8 lakh babies were born in Japan, resulting in a rapid decline that experts hadn't predicted until 2030. A low birth rate means most of the population is aging, which is also resulting in population decline. Both these factors, when they occur simultaneously, pose serious challenges to the country's economy and the well-being of its people. The lack of births also means that Japan will have a smaller workforce and fewer taxpayers to sustain the world's third largest economy in the years to come. In addition to that, the rising cost of care facilities needed for its elderly citizens, who make up a higher proportion of the population than in any other country, is draining the nation's wealth, helping make it the world's most indebted country. Well, that's not all. Lack of youngsters at workplace is prompting calls from politicians to increase the retirement age to 68 and have seniors rejoin the labour force on a part-time basis. There's no single answer to a question like this, but let me try to put forward the ones that have dominantly altered the way of family planning in Japan. Let's head back in time again for this. During Japan's first period of fertility decline, it was seen that most young men and women were married, but they had fewer children within their marriage. Fast forward to now, the fertility decline that began in the 1970s has been accompanied by sharply decreasing rates of marriage. If you look at the figures, as of 2010, 11% of women and 20% of men at the age of 50 had never been married and the trend shows no sign of reversing till now. Therefore, a fall in marriages led to a fall in fertility rate. Now, why are young men and women giving up on marriage? Let's understand that. One reason appears to be the uncertain employment prospects for young men, which make them poor candidates for marriage. Other than that, equal child responsibility from male partners is a major barrier to starting a family. In addition to all of this, a report from Uber Population Research claims that Japan is the third most expensive country globally to raise a child. That's not all. Japan has been praised time and again for being a land of hard workers where people typically work for long hours. Hence, a workaholic population and a labour-focused economy puts employees under pressure to choose their company over their family. Now, we can both understand the growing pessimism of the Japanese towards producing their progenies. In order to deal with the declining population crisis, Japan in recent years has been trying to encourage its people to have more children with promises of cash bonuses and better benefits. Over the years, Japan has had numerous family policies that have ultimately failed to lift the birth rate, such as Angel Plan, New Angel Plan, Plus One Policy, among others. Now, the government is all set to try out its child and child wearing policies and present a framework by June to try save the country from disappearing. Now, will these attempts actually make any difference? Only time will tell. That's all for now in this video. For more such content, keep watching Z Business.